Hello guys, welcome to Expertizer Academy's Civil 3D tutorial and uh, in this lesson we're going to see how to edit a tin surface and um, in the previous exercise we have seen how to change the surface style. To watch our previous Civil 3D lessons just go back to the playlist and you can find plenty of videos. So let's get going. So first thing is um, uh, go to the description box if you don't have the exercise file you can get the exercise file. So we're going to use three surface edits underscore start and uh, you get a tin model up here to get started uh, with this one first thing is every time you get a tin model uh, just make sure that you select it right click and go to object viewer to check it the whole purpose of this is sometimes uh, your tin model may have uh, some elevation points or something which might actually dip down to a different elevation so if you don't um, go into object viewer to uh, manually check it uh, sometimes you may not be able to see that from the plan view uh, so when you finally do the cut and fill volumes there you will get uh, large values so that's a quick check just to make sure that everything is okay looking normal nothing abnormal and um, once you're happy let's go into the surface so first thing is whenever you want to edit an object you select the particular object and then you get the ribbon on the top and uh, sometimes the ribbon may not have all the tools if in that case just select the object and right click and you will get more options as well so you got the surface properties and then edit surface style. So some of these tools you can see it here as well. And on top of it, your ribbon, wherever you see these little arrows, you can click on it and it shows you additional options that you can use. Okay, so now first thing we're going to see is we're going to quickly check into the object property, which is going to be the surface property. So I'm going to click on surface property and uh, we have four tabs here. So first one is information where you can change the name, your description, and uh, one of the important thing is people tend to ignore adding descriptions to their object. It is really important when you're looking at your object post finishing your project, like say around three, four months after th finishing the project, uh, the description will be a lot more helpful. Um, so this is where you change your surface style. This is your render material. So the render material is you can apply a material on top of the surface. Uh, so there is a whole bunch of materials that you can apply. So they are not as good as 3ds Max or Maya. So this is more uh, just to give you a quick render. Uh, so if you want to do a quick presentation and things like that. And then you go to the definition. So where you got three options. First is a build definitions. So you can go and specify all the options that you can um, pretty much constrain your surface to. So one is you can say a, exclude all the elevations which is lesser than a particular value or greater than a particular value or you can specify what is the maximum angle and uh, what is the length of a maximum maximum length of a triangle and these sort of values you can specify. Now what happens is any point which is lesser than a particular value that you specified here will be ignored. So they will not be included into the tin calculations. Similarly, if you go to the data operations, you've got a whole bunch of options. One is you've got use boundaries, use break lines, use contour data. So there is a whole bunch of other things that you can also use. And then we got edit operations. In the edit operations, you can also got um, add a point. You can restrict basically all these options. You can restrict if you want to. And you can decide which one you want to allow, which one you want to restrict. So next is your analysis. So there is a separate chapter we're going to do for analysis where we will look deep into analysis. And then statistics. Statistics will give you all the information about the surface. So you can expand into general and you can see all the XYZ values. What is the minimum elevation, maximum elevation. And then you got the 2D area that's covered by the entire surface. And then the tin models. So you got all these options here. So you can also select right click and then you can say clip on, uh, copy to clipboard and uh, by which you can actually go to your email, you got your uh, notepad, wherever you can go and paste it. So which gives you all the values in a pre-formatted um, text. So that's pretty handy. So that's your surface properties. So now once you're happy with this one, so the next thing what we're going to see is we're going to see how to edit a particular surface. So there are a whole bunch of edit operations that you can do on a surface. So to go into your tool space, you go into your tool space on the left side. If you don't have it, under the home tab, you click on this big button that says tool space. And then these four buttons are basically for these four tabs. So I'm going under the prospector and then I'm going to expand my surface. 
and um, expand the surface that we just created and uh, if you don't know what surface you're looking at it you can keep your mouse on top or you can select your surface and then it shows the object name so any object if you're not sure which object you're looking at it just select it on the top right corner you'll be able to see the name of the object and uh, so that's the object we're looking at it so expand my object and then expand the definition so by just in case if you're wondering what these folders are so this is a feature that they have included in 2017 version of civil 3d where you can actually tuck in uh, your surface inside a folder so pretty much you can create a folder and subfolder and you can drag and drop your surface into it and but just be careful um, so there are there are some places it's a little buggier so where you say if you go into um, example picking up sample lines or profiles or anywhere you actually uh, where the user interface is asking you to pick a particular surface um, if your surface is within a subfolder you will not be able to pick it up so that's actually a temporary bug I think uh, they will fix it in the next version all right so expand your surface expand your definition and you get a whole bunch of options here so these are the objects that you can add on top of your surface so first thing is your boundaries so these are all edit operations so whenever you want to edit your surface it's best to go into your triangulation style to change your surface style you can select it and go to your AutoCAD properties to change it or you can go to surface properties go to information surface style and you can change to any of the triangulation style I'm going to change to ANZ triangulation sign click OK and we got the triangulation style here so now I'm going to right click on boundaries I'm going to click on add so before you add the boundary the first and foremost thing is you need to have a boundary line to specify what is my boundary is so for that I'm going to for a polyline command so I'm going to type in PL that's a polyline command or a CAD polyline press enter and you start outside we're going to create an outside boundary and then go and intercept all the triangles which you think it is it is created just by the um, triangulation method technically the triangle doesn't exist okay so these are the triangles you want to trim so you can go around and then trim all the triangles that you want to get rid of and make sure once you come to the end uh, press C to close it so that's basically the command to close a polyline so press C and enter it will close the polyline so to create a boundary so now we got the line in place uh, so I'm gonna right click on boundaries click on add I'm gonna say this is my outer boundary and the type of boundaries outer and uh, then you can got an option that says uh, non-destructive it is by default checked so when you check it what happens is it will not break the triangle it will just hide this portion of the triangle so wherever you intercept it it will just hide that portion so it will be like AutoCAD bipod so um, we want it to be destructive because we want this triangle to be gone forever so I'm gonna click on OK I'm gonna pick the polyline and then the triangles are gone so only important thing is this line has to be there to maintain the boundary so moment you delete it the triangle is going to come back so usually what I do is I go and create uh, this is your civil 3d layers I'll go and create a whole bunch of user layers and one of them will be boundaries so in that I will add these line and then I will lock it and then I will freeze it so that means I will not see it so there is no chances of me accidentally deleting it so just a little housekeeping all right so next I'm going for a polyline command I'm going inside my surface this time um, so now you can see that my drawing is a bit slower so that's because I have uh, enabled the dynamic input which I hate it I'm just gonna turn it off just you can go into the bottom so if you don't see it you go and click on the hamburger icon and then you can say dynamic input here so that's basically turns on the icon so you can see that I have, that the feature is actually turned on so you can right click go to dynamic input settings and then you can turn it off I really don't like this one okay let's go back to the polyline command so now your civil 3 works much better okay let me okay I'm gonna close this so I got my polyline ready so I'm going to add my boundary so this is gonna be my inner boundary and the type of boundary is going to be hide boundary and it's going to be non-destructive okay click on OK 
gonna select this one press enter so now as you can see the lines are still running underneath so it's just not showing it so that means triangles are actually gone um, but they still exist it just mask off those triangles so if you do a volume calculation or anything like that this will be an empty space if that is what you were wondering so now I'm going to create another polyline and this time I'm going to cover a whole bunch of points inside close the polyline go for boundaries click on add and I'm going to say this is going to be island and this is going to be show boundary and again it's going to be non-destructive click OK select press enter so you get the surface back so now select the surface right click go to object viewer and then you can see it and just change the style if you don't see anything so realistic will give you the realistic view or you can go to conceptual or 3d wireframe so which gives you the view okay so that's basically how you create your boundary so we continue with the surface edits in the next exercise as well um, so I want to make it a bit shorter so it's not lengthier um, so we'll continue with the next one thank you